Yeah, 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 yeah. It's your boy, Jakey. Mm. Live and direct. Yeah, yeah. You know mm-hmm. what it is. Mm-hmm. Come on and join in. Ha, 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 ha. What up, what up? It's your boy JB coming at y'all live and direct, and y'all know what it is. It's the Smoke Something, Drink Something podcast. I'm the Real Cigar Jeff. You can find me on Instagram at the Real Cigar Jeff. You can find me on Facebook at Smoke Something, Drink Something podcast. Let's get on through that, guys. Y'all look in the description. Y'all see everything we're trying to do. We on our way to 100,000 subscribers. We gonna jump right into this thing tonight. The topic is Broken Magnets. Why can't I find what I'm attracted to? Shout out to the TLC for coming up with a topic that he wanted to bring to the panel for some expert uh, reflection on, some expert advice for all y'all struggling to find what you're actually attracted to. And because this is a real topic, I got to bring my real panelists, the Hometown Hookup Edition. At first, man, y'all know who I got in the building. Y'all see him on the screen. Big J the Barber is in the building. I'm gonna let him tell you where y'all can find him at and what he's sipping on, what he's smoking on. Y'all see it. Yarp. Well, you know, it's your big homie, <laughs> Big J the Barber. You can find me at Big J the Barber, B I G J A Y T H E B A R B E R on Instagram and also my YouTube channel. And I'm trying to get popping off, so y'all gotta go help me get that thing right. Now, what I'm drinking on, because you know it's real people with real problems, real issues, and all that other stuff. <laughs> You know, your boy kind of is on antibiotics for some acid <laughs> reflux situations. So, you know, I got to keep it real 100 with my people. So, you know, I'm drinking on this Bolt House Farms Sea Boost that has oh, nice. pe- pears, apples, mangoes, and acerola nice. cherries. If I said that wrong, who cares? But y'all get what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yerp. <laughs> Big J is in the building. Big J is in the building. Keeping it hot. Keeping it non-alcoholic tonight. Keeping it non-alcoholic. We love it. We love it. We love it. Man, and y'all know who we got next. As always, as disappointing as it is for me to introduce him, the resident antagonist, the people's champ, the only reason he on the night is because he came up with the topic. If he didn't come up with the topic based on his performance last week, I was about to find him and, 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 and put him on punishment for coming to the podcast the way he did last week. But I'm still going to let him introduce himself. Y'all know who he is, man. Go ahead and tell the people who you are, where they can find you on, on socials and what you're sipping on and you what you're You know, you thanks on. for having me back as always. It's your boy, T.L. Clayton. You can find <laughs> me on Instagram at T.L. Clayton number one. Tonight, I'm sipping on uh, Sam Adams, the cold snap. And I'm smoking on a Gurkha stick. This is the first time I've actually tried that. Ooh, one. nice. So, okay. Oh, nice. You got the Gurkha? Okay. So, so far, so good. Nice. But down, but, you know, nice. that's what I'm doing tonight. Thank you again for having you don't me. Wanna, I, you can't, don't... I can't believe I'm back. <laughs> yes, to all your fans. To all your fans, right? You going to plug your Patreon page? Oh, yeah, What's yeah, up yeah, with yeah. that, bro? You Patreon gonna check your... page, you know, the joke I didn't tell, go there, check it out. It's basically, as it says, it's a joke that I didn't take on stage. <laughs> let me know what you think. If y'all, For all of his fans, for all of his fans, he's giving y'all that additional content. You know how it is. Yep, yep, I know. Let me try to give them. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's enough. All right. Yes, Lord, and y'all know, man, whenever I'm doing my podcast, I got my A1 from day one. I ain't got to say much. Y'all know who it is. I'm going to let her introduce herself, tell y'all what she's drinking on and where y'all can find that on the slope. Thanks, JB. What's going on, fellas? Thanks for having me on this podcast once again. Glad I made the cut. Um, <laughs> it's your girl, Rhonda. You can find me on IG at RMBLMBT. Um, I am sipping on my chocolate martini tonight, made the right way, with just a couple of ounces instead of 10, um, of Tito's vodka, <laughs> uh, Bailey's, and Godiva chocolate liqueur. Back to you, JB. Ooh, How do- that thing sounds You good. made that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Bailey's, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, I made. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at TLC. Man, let me give her applause first. Bailey. We, she got Ronnie got fans unlike you. Yeah, unlike you, TLC. Ronnie got real fans. Yeah, love, man. Y'all know how it is, man. We are back in the building. I'm mad. I'm smoking on my H up by AJ Fernandez, man. And I'm just sipping on my Four Roses single barrel, man. You know, I ain't going through what Jay going through, but I'm pretty sure I got some dysfunction in there somewhere that this bourbon going going to at least help clear out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes, Lord, it's storming like crazy here in Tampa. 
Storming like crazy here in Tampa, man. So if we had some audio issues, if we had some connection issues, man, y'all bear with us. We're going to get into this thing. Broken magnets. Why I can't find what I'm attracted to. And man, TLC, when you finish, I, Lord, I got to send you a torch lighter. I didn't got so tired of seeing you like that cigar I like, like that. I got school. to send you a torch lighter. Uh-huh. Yeah, and, and cheap and don't know how to use a butane. <laughs> don't know how to use a butane torch to refill it, but we're going to get you there. TLC came up with this topic. And one of the things y'all got to understand, people reach out to TLC, people reach out to Big J, people reach out to Run. Y'all can please tell, man, y'all send us what y'all want to talk about. TLC came to me with this topic, broken magnets. Well, I can't find what I'm attracted to. TLC, give us a little backstory on why you wanted to talk about that. The original idea came up when I was looking at the article with uh, Tiger Woods and him breaking up, I guess, with his girlfriend as she was suing her him for like $30 million, which is crazy. And I was like, you know what? At some point, like a magnet, they were attracted to each other. But now, it's like the magnet turned around, and he can't get away from her <laughs> cooking. He done changed the lock on the doors and everything. And she, I'm like, what in the world? Like, she backfly, she backflying coach. And so I was like, how does that happen? How, how, how does a person go out there and look for something and find what they find is something they can't get away from quick enough. That was the thought process of it. So how does it how does it go, Dr. Jekyll and exactly, Mr. Hyde that exactly. quick, huh? You know TLC, you like you know TLC, I've been I, I ever since you gave me the topic, I, I I've been I've been meditating on this thing day and night, as they tell me <laughs> to do in the scriptures. I've been meditating on this. So I'm ready to give y'all some wisdom on this thing. Big J, when you heard the topic, what were you thinking? Well, I went <laughs> the opposite direction. So <laughs> You know, because I actually just heard the topic today. You know, Rhonda gave it to me. So, uh, so you know, <laughs> we got to keep 100. We edit nothing. I tell y'all, we don't edit nothing. <laughs> I, just, I just heard the topic today. Rhonda, told, Rhonda can vouch for that. Yeah. So, uh, uh, when, I, when I heard it today, which was probably, what, uh, 10 minutes ago? Uh, uh, <laughs> the, the, the first thing that I thought about that came to mind was some of my female friends that always sit there and be like, man, why every time I, I try to date somebody, they end up, you know, wanting to talk to me for certain things. But then when I'm trying to get locked down into a relationship, they just end up bouncing or leaving. And I always ask them, like, well, what are you looking for in a relationship? And nine times out of 10, and I'm going to keep it 100 on this podcast, you know, I hope my people's on the podcast can understand this. I ain't trying to knock nobody for what they choose or who they choose to be with. This is just real conversation with real people, right? So let's get real. So at the end of the day, you got some, you know, maybe a white lady that likes black men. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? This white lady that happens to be around certain black men, it, you know, it, you find a, 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 a magnet coming together because you think that's what you're attracted to. But then when you realize that this black man don't like you like that, then it kind of like goes the opposite direction. Or you have a situation where you have a, a big person. It could be either male or female that doesn't work out but they are attracted to men or women that are in the gym all the time, but they don't want to get themselves in the gym. So you're attracted to someone that looks good to your appealing eye, but at the same time, you're not doing nothing to be like what you're attracted to. So nine times out of 10, that's not going to be in a relationship. So that's okay. the first thing that came to mind. Okay. And hey, man, hey, look, y'all, he just had that thing for 10 minutes. Imagine if he would have prepared. So what does that tell y'all? Jay Biz See, y'all, Jay Biz is dropping knowledge to y'all, and he didn't even hear last week. He didn't even hear last yeah, week what the topic was going to be. Either, after, Rhonda <laughs> after, after Rhonda told me, look, this was my notes. It was just what the topic was. Yes. <laughs> See, this is what happened, y'all. Look, this podcast getting some This podcast getting some views, man. We starting to feel ourselves a little bit. We just coming into the gym shooting threes. Ain't warming up for nothing. We just shooting threes like Steph Curry now. Rhonda, when you got the topic, tell me what you thought. Oh. Um. Personally, I thought, like, hey, man, ladies, reach out to TLC, man. Show him some love. Like, <laughs> his wife is out there somewhere. But I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> Please. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm I ain't going to know where this same age. announcement in a minute for Rhonda. <laughs> All the fellas out there. <laughs> <laughs> Go to <laughs> RMB. RMBT. <laughs> RMBT. Yep. No, I Go ahead, Rhonda. Uh, Go ahead. I think I probably shouldn't have made this drink because I could feel it already, but already, huh? Uh, I probably put too much in there. But anyway, that's a whole other story. Um, but no, I, I, of course, you know, you go with the typical thoughts of with the broken magnet perspective is we always going to come from a visual standpoint when we meet somebody and start talking to somebody. So 
then when you peel back some of the layers, it's like, well, dang, you ain't nothing appealing about this person. And they may feel the same way. Um, so yeah, so my initial thoughts were that, you know, okay, here we are again, lead it with the eyes instead of with the head. And and and, and, and Rhonda, I like that. I like what I like what all you guys said, man. First thing that came to my mind, y'all know, y'all know how I'm coming with it. And I think the reason why you can't find what you attract is because you and your flesh are completely different. There's a spirit you, then there's a flesh you. If you lead with your flesh, your flesh is probably not going to be compatible with your spirit. And so now all of a sudden, I like the examples Jay gave. I like the examples TLC gave. But when you're, when you're, when you're trying to find what you're attracted to, you have to decide, am I attracted to the seen or am I attracted to the unseen? And, and I, I go back to the, I go back to coming to America. And, and when, when, when Eddie Murphy was having problems finding women, he had gone everywhere. He's found a guy at the barbershop late at night. And every time I see it now, I think of Jay, cause the dude locking up his barbershop and he was like, Mr. Clarence, where can we go to find good <laughs> women in this country? We've been to every bar in Queens. He said, well, what you doing? You ain't gonna find no good women now. You know, you can go to the library, you can go to the church. Right, that's what he said. He said, "Ben, or oh, 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 this place I'm going tonight, the Black Awareness Rally. It, it, it's gonna be some good, good girls there, clean women." Right? <laughs> that's what he said. And I thought about this: is that you? They didn't know he was a king or a prince, so you got to find somebody who's ready to be a princess or a queen. Right? That's a lifestyle. We lead with our physical, and then that physical is not compatible. With the mindset, with the spirit, man, with the with the direction that your life is going, and like I told y'all, you don't fall in love. It's, it's, you, that second question gonna determine. That second question gonna determine what's gonna happen in that in in that first date. What's your name, and what do you do? If the answer to that second question <laughs> don't line up, that attraction gone. Same thing if you telling somebody you gonna hook them up. Oh, what's his name? Right? Oh. Okay, what he do? Mm-hmm. What he do? And what we got to start understanding is: Are you looking for an attraction to have a physical interaction with, or are you looking for attraction based on what he do? Go ahead, TLC, jump back in there since this is your topic, and I'm gonna eat it alive. Go ahead, jump well, back in. I was in there. thinking more like uh, lifestyle because, like, you know, maybe I'm out and about, you know, on the town, and I bump into uh, a woman. I'm having a conversation. And at some point, the conversation she brings up, like, you know, I got a couple kids, they two and four years old, and I'm like, oh, I'm good. <laughs> like, yeah, right. But why? But why you? But why you don't? Why don't you want a, a person with a two with a two year old or four year old? Why don't I you don't want have one? kids? Uh, you know, being single, I don't want to jump into that. So, uh, with somebody else's well, kids. I, well, they could be my kids. I don't know about. Them. <laughs> I still, I still want you just don't. You don't want your. <laughs> Yep, he ain't prepared again, y'all. He <laughs> look all the all the single mamas, y'all just been counted out. Don't 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 email TLC. No, no, don't go to his honest, website. Like, you know, like I'm out and bow and talk to somebody. They're like, yeah, I got kids. It's like mm, I'm good. Like right in there is like a turn off. Like just is. And, and guess what, guys? That's fair. That's fair, guys. And, and and this is the beauty of what we're talking about. Why well, I can't find what I'm attracted to, and for all the people that's being pursued right now, you can't make somebody want you. And you can't make somebody accept the decisions you've made prior to meeting this person. I think all of us can agree with that, right? So if TLC doesn't like people or like women with kids, it doesn't make you a bad person. It just means y'all not compatible. Just Jump in TLC again. Young, little kids, like, you know. Yeah. Little kids. Oh, you like them growing? No, I mean, they're like yeah. teenagers. Are they? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, teenager can whoop kids. are teenagers, you know, they, they, they got kind of their yeah, own life. You, you, you know, that's different, you, but. I'm not trying not. to stop. Oh, she's crap. Crap. It ain't you know, That's what I'm saying. You know. Oh, okay. Okay. Big J, jump in there and let, you know, let us know what you're thinking when you, you hear it's, TLC it's, say that. It's funny that TLC did mention that because that was the topic of conversation I was going to bring up too. Because again, just like what I said earlier, it's just one of those things where y'all don't come for me now. When I said black and white, white and black, it's still the same thing. So just want to make sure y'all don't think there's something going wrong with what I just said. But to get back to what the TLC said, I actually was going to mention that. There's some women or vice versa men that have, I heard in the barbershop per se, and because, you know, everything goes down and talk about it in the barbershop. They're just like, oh, man, you know, I I, I thought I, 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 well, the female that have kids is looking for a male that don't have kids because they don't want to have no baby mama drama or whatever the case may be. Then there's the guy who's looking for 
you know, that doesn't have kids that, that don't want to deal with a female that have kids based on baby daddy drama or whatever the case may be. But it, it's one of those things where a female more so wants to attract guys that may not have baggage. But then when they bring that person into the relationship, the male who probably would have gave it the opportunity and chance now see that you got some bad A kids. And then you're like, you know what? I can't handle this. I thought I could. And then back out of it. And then Jeff, you brought up another point too about the spirit realm. It's like, I know people have, I know us on here have met or been around someone that we just did not understand why we just don't get along with this person. They didn't do anything wrong or whatever the case may be. Your pheromones just don't match. So it's just one of those things where you get around somebody, an individual that may look appealing to you. And then all of a sudden you go to dinner and then you're looking across the room like, man, I just don't like you. Mm. And then mm-hmm. you just don't understand it's a long why. Dinner. But it's just <laughs> spirit thing. Yeah. It's one long yeah, dinner. It's, it's part of look, the look, yeah, And look, somebody about to send a case of sea boost to Jay, bro. Y'all, Jay, hold it up so they'll know what to send to your house for Amazon. <laughs> yeah, it's holding sea boost. <laughs> Jay up there bringing it. Jay up, there, Jay up there bringing it. I want to jump in there before I bring Rhonda in. What I'm trying to say to you guys, too, I use the word spirit. Y'all probably use the word energy. Okay? Energy, energy you can't see, but you just know, like, okay, something, I'm not vibing. I'm not. I use the word spirit on it. Y'all may use the word energy. Same thing, interchangeable, that kind of thing. When you say I got a gut feeling, I say something's not right about this person. Like Jay said, you know, something ain't sitting right, right? And, and here's what happens. How you judge a tree? By its fruit. And at the end of the day, that's kind of where we're going with it. Rhonda, jump in there. Let us know what you're saying. Let us know what you're thinking about what TSC said. Well, I mean, as being a person who don't have any uh, children either, um, it's, it's not that I wouldn't date a man with, with kids. It's just that I probably would have to really consider it because you do have to, you have to move differently with someone else's uh, children. Um, or dogs, by the way, we talking about kids, but don't talk, don't, don't rule yeah, out pets, pets either. Too. Cause if they got yeah, pets, it's yeah. the same, it's the same stuff. You got to get home yeah. before a certain okay, time. Yeah. You got to put them to sleep. You got to walk them. Go ahead, Ron, jump in there. Cujo ain't going to bite you. Well, Cujo don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ain't nothing worse than that person who got the pit bull in the house now. Not the Frenchie like you, Jay. You got a nice little Frenchie. Not the pit bull that's knocking down everything. That 90 pound pit bull that think he a Yorkie. Yeah, I think it Junji, is. Junji come back, come in the barbershop talking about his dog and situation all the time. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh oh. All right, Junji, he didn't call you out. We're going to discuss that thing Thursday. <laughs> Go ahead, Ron, and jump, finish up. Sorry about that. Something that, that you really do have to consider. I, I think it goes back to what we said on previous podcasts where. What are we gonna talk about? I mean, yeah, your kids all right, but what else we like? Uh, I I don't understand all the things that. You- oh, you just preach. That's a different podcast, but you just yeah, preach. You do have to do with your kids, and as a single person, being able to move around as freely as as I like, or do what I want, and don't have to check to see if the kids and ate and done the homework or or what have you, it does like being a single person dating someone with kids. You really have to allow room for that if that's something that you want. But I think at, at, by the end of it, you probably would be resentful of that person or their kids or their dog or cat. Or J- R- Rhonda, I think you preaching. I think Jay preaching. TLC, I actually think you preaching too. I, need, I think we need to stick a pin in that thing because what we, we want to let y'all know, you're not a bad person if you, if you have kids. What happens is, is that a lot of people see the work you putting in and I just ain't made for that kind of work. You see what I'm saying? When you have children, you don't belong to yourself anymore. And like TLC said, the younger ones are really, but it's no different than getting a puppy. When you get a puppy, go ahead, TLC, because you keep I, interrupting I my say, flow, bro. I was going to say, like, I'm starting to think my head is calling you to tell you to do this stuff. Everybody keep talking about I talk too much, and now all no, I no, see. You brought a point. You brought a point, and I want, because, you know, say, okay, like, right, like I was going to say, okay. for me to be a single guy with no kids, <laughs> I stay busy. Like, I work a lot, so I don't even see how people with kids do it, like. People with kids, I don't, I don't know how they have enough time today to do everything they do. Like it's, it's amazing. Can I interject right quick? Yeah, Jay, Jay got, Jay got kids, so Jay can jump in here and talk on this topic. So, so my thing is, is that, it, and I hate to say this, but it is what it is. Um, a parent who has custodial kids, meaning every single day, school, all that, all the above, they have. If they get into a relationship with someone who don't have kids, it's going to be hard to actually understand and and. Uh, uh, and mesh well. I've done it numerous times. I have uh-huh. in my relationships, I've had females that always have kids. It's just what it was. I've always been a stepdad to somebody. And to this day, these kids that I'm no longer with their mom, they still 
look at me like a dad figure. So they can call mm-hmm. me, contact me anytime. And that's because I'm just who I am and they can always reach out to me. So that's a good thing. But the f- prime example, if a female was to get with me, right? Because I don't have custodial um, every single day kids. I pick up my kids on the weekends or whenever I can, maybe holidays and things like that. So someone who don't have kids that is a female happen to get in a relationship with me or whatever the case may be, they don't have the every single Monday through yes. a Friday ordeal to deal with the kids. Yeah, so it's absolutely. not really the same. It's yeah. really different mm-hmm. until that every other weekend comes in. And then if you can't deal with my kids for every other weekend, then you just can't. Right. You, can, you, you, you shouldn't be someone that I can look into the future to having kids with in the first place. And I think that and I think that's what Jay is talking about. And I think that's why I kind of think you and TLC are on the same page. I like what TLC said. I just want them older. So even if they are there. They back there playing Xbox or something like that. Now, if you're an Xbox guy, you out there competing with him, talking shit to him on your headset like TLC got, <laughs> right? And you you be out there playing the sun, beating the crap out of the sun on Call of Duty while she's sitting in there ain't <laughs> while she's sitting in there being neglected. Now you got a problem too. Some of yeah. y'all get some of y'all get with a, a, a person that has kids, and now y'all start spending more time with the kids than you spill you you spend with the person. And, and so I just wanted to say that that guys, having children is hard work. And that's why I think if you're going to get with a person that has children, you got to make sure you lay out that thing in the first place. But I want to kind of get there. The, the topic is why can't I find what I'm attracted to? First thing is you go into the wrong spots, right? You go into the wrong spots. I ain't, if I can't go to the park and then be mad that I find a woman with mm. kids, that's who they are, right? That's who they are. And, 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 and at the end of the day, if I want to jump off, there's certain places you got to go for a jump off. There's certain places you got to go. If you're looking for a relationship, one of the reasons people can't find what they're attracted to is they don't go to the places where those people are. Now, when you guys hear me say that, jump in there, Jay. Let me know what you think when you hear me say people. Problem is you ain't going where the people you attracted are, because more than likely you attracted to something you can't afford. More than likely you attracted to something you can't go afford. You can't afford. So now all of a sudden, man, look, I, I like a girl to eat a steak, but I ain't going to Capitol Grill or Ruth Chris. I, I'm going to go over here to Longhorn. Go ahead, Jay. Jump in. Hey, hey, there's nothing wrong with Longhorn. Exactly. So my, my, it ain't as good. Hello, Longhorn. Me and Jay used to go to Longhorn all the time. All the time, yeah. But uh, no, to piggyback on what you said, Jeff, no, no, for real, like prime example, I dealt with a lot of people in my barbershop. They sit there and be like, oh my God, I can't believe I, can, I can't find me this girl. You know, I can't find the right one. Well, if you're still 40-something years old looking for a female in Ebor <laughs> City, then you know what I'm saying? That's a problem as it is. Ebor being like a little club that's kind of like a New Orleans... Um, Bourbon Street. Uh, like Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street. So it's similar yes, to Bourbon Street. So if you're still 40-something years old looking for a female that you want to marry in Bourbon Street area or wherever, then that's a problem. Then on top of that, if you go on your first date and you take them to Waffle House or, 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 you know, whatever, Outback. <laughs> yes, know, yes. Then, then you're going to get an Outback type of person. You know, it is what it is. Your first impression is always a good impression. So you got to make sure, I mean, something that you can do that's going to be maintainable though. You can't sit there and say, okay, I'm going to take him to Ruth Chris. But then when she wants Ruth Chris again, you can't do it. That's not, you know, maintainable. So you got to make sure that you know, and again, I say this word all the time, find someone who's somewhat equally yoked to you so you can make sure that y'all can grow together and advance forward instead of trying to play catch up with one another. And that's the reason why you get separated. So, okay. Jay preaching, Jay preaching, Rhonda, jump in there. We know TLC don't have an answer since he came up with the topic. Go ahead, bro. We got to get TLC some advice. Waffle House. I'm ready to go. <laughs> TNC ready to go. TNC said, Harry, we get this podcast over with. Go ahead, Rod. Go ahead, Rod. I always knew you like the women with no teeth. That be be throwing chairs. Go ahead, go ahead, Rod. Jump in there. No, look, going to the right place is huge. Um, like, cause, cause not only not only do you need to pick the right place. But you also need to be, depending on what you're looking for, be dressed a certain way when you go to these places. Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, oh, okay. yeah, like um, I know when I've gone to Eddie V's by myself to sit at the bar, or something that I, I don't do enough of. Um, but, you know, you go into places based on, you dress accordingly. And so to see to see some, some females go out and, and they look a certain way um, in, in certain types of restaurants, depending on what you're looking for, if you're going to show everything, then that's your business. But just know that's the type of guy that you probably going to end up with who. And you got to keep showing you it. Keep, you can't get with him and stop yeah. showing it. And that's typically what will happen. Um, and so, yeah. So, no, I think 
if you're going to go to the to the right places, you also need to represent by by wearing the, the right type of stuff, the right type of clothes to exude whatever type of uh, guy you're trying to get. OK, and, and TLC. Let's hear what you got to say. What What do you feel about going to the right places, dressing the right way? Go ahead and jump in there. When you mentioned you uh, going to the right places, I said, you know, things that interest you. So if you enjoy smoking cigars, for example, go to a cigar bar. But I know you and uh, you're going to bring that up on another topic as far as uh, what to do and the do's and don'ts, I guess, of a cigar bar. But if. Oh, don't let your significant other smoke alone. That podcast dropped. Okay. That podcast well, about to drop. Go. You know. Oh yeah, don't let your significant other smoke alone. Yeah, go. I got you, TLC. Giving up my, giving up my, giving up my topics. You talk, you start to take over but again. I, no, I'm saying this what happened. This what happened in relationship. Yeah, but go ahead. Places that you have an interest in, you're more likely to find someone compatible there. Um, if you enjoy hockey, they just had a hurricane just play. Go to the hockey game. You'll find a girl that's probably just as equally interested in sports as you are. Someone you could talk to. So. And, and I think one of the things, TLC, the reason why you can't find what you attracted to either. Well, don't say me. I'm glad y'all chimed really in on that. Another, for, but you know, in general. Oh, TLC, you, TLC, you always, you yeah. always looking. You ain't being a stand-up comedian for nothing. <laughs> you know what you said, man? Look, I'm watching Kevin Hart do his thing, right? You watching all these people do their thing? For the, look, for there's the a sure reason, look, 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 That's what. Yeah, and don't nobody believe that. <laughs> don't truth. nobody believe that, right? But but what I want you guys to think about too. So we talk about why I can't find what I attract. Hey, I'm not going to the I'm not going to the right places. The next thing you can't find what you attract is you don't know you. Right? And the problem is, let's just think about it. When you bring somebody else in your life, they reveal you. And you better hope you know that person that's gonna be revealed. Because I think that the reason why people can't find what they're attracted to is that you lying to yourself about you. Cause guess what? I can, I can see what you telling me. I had to learn something, right? My mentor told me years ago, shout out to John Haney, man. He told me a long time ago, you got to be fake with fake people and you got to be real with real mm. people. Now you got to make sure that if you're a real person and you get with a fake one, the fake one always going to dominate. I always know the fake one always going to dominate. The fake one going to make the real one adjust. That's why you can't get with a fake person. Cause if you basing it on, if you basing it on feelings and, and physical, that's how you find the fake person. But what happens is, guys, we don't know ourselves. Jay, what do you think when you hear me say that? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Because I, I was just going to piggyback off of what you just said. And it says, why can't folks find what they're attracted to? Hey, it's Jay, because sorry. Now, Jay, sorry. Y'all keep talking. I got to use bathroom, man. I, I didn't drink all this Fiji. Go ahead. Jay, yeah, keep talking. We, we, we just, hey, did we, we, did we just talk about that? Old DT. I'm pulling a TLC. This is sad. Y'all give me one this second. I'll be sad. right Look. Did, did we just literally talked about this, right? Did everybody pee like we like we On in a diaper? The, the the moderators <laughs> left, but there seems to be a new opening for the new moderator. <laughs> so uh, go ahead, Big J. Let us know. Take it over. <laughs> Let us know your thoughts. <laughs> No, but but no. What I was thinking about was the same thing. Like, why people can't attract what they're what they're attracted to is because nine times out of ten, they're looking for someone that doesn't look like them. So it's like prime example. Like I mentioned earlier, there's someone that's I'm trying to be not like rude, but I got to be 100. There's someone who's not as attractive looking, mm -hmm. but looking for someone who is attractive yes. looking. Um, so it's just one of those things where this person thinks that she's or he is a <laughs> eight, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or, or whatever, but really is a five. But at the same time, when they, when he or she is a five, they looking for someone that's a 10 or a nine that don't go together. So nine times out of 10, when people can't find what they're attracted to is because them themselves are you know are are attracted to someone that don't look or resemble so, like them. So do you think they're like Ooh, okay. opposites attract I know just... or are you saying like people attract? So opposite attracts based on personality, you know what I mean? Because I do believe the yin and the yang. So you know you also like prime example, I can't have someone that's that 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 uh has a a, a temper, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because if someone else has a temper nine times out of ten, if I had a temper in the past or the present, we are always gonna clash. So, you know, it's kind of like when you look at the Hulk movie, Hulk always had that one female, which was the Black <laughs> Widow, that was like, Hulk, calm down. You know, that was the only person that could calm down the Hulk. You know what I'm saying? So you have to find someone that's, that's you know, opposite so they can make sure that you're able to calm that person down and vice versa. Because if you constantly go into battle with each other, that's because you're too much alike. Now, when it comes to attraction, 
um, you want to find someone that you somewhat similar attracted to or, or that look like. Because if you don't, then you're going to have a not so attractive person looking for an attractive person. And nine times out of 10, that relationship is not going to work. And, and I'm, I'm going to jump in there. I know I appreciate y'all Let me take my production break. But I, I, I got TSC, TSC, and I wash my hands. I went wash my hands. I don't want y'all to think. My point, my point, I, I want to jump in on what Jay said, because I'm, I'm going to disagree with Jay a little bit, but not fundamentally, but just from a conceptual standpoint, Jay. Not, mm -hmm. I, I agree with everything you said. I don't believe opposites attract. Mm -hmm. What I believe is, what I believe is the tough person, the tough person, when you've been, when you've gone through some stuff, when you've gone through some stuff, here's what the girl knows about the bad boy. Why does the bad boy have to be tough? He been going through some stuff, and, and when I'm when I'm out there, I gotta protect myself. I gotta make sure that I put myself in a position where somebody gonna do that to me again. That's why the biggest dope boy in the area has that chick that can, like Jay said, can calm me down. Why? Because she didn't got to know that man behind the scenes. This guy's just giving. He's unselfish. He's this. He's that. But he can't show that in public. Because if I showed it in public, I'm going to get attacked. And so opposites are really not attracting. The, 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 the Jeff I'm giving you publicly is not the Jeff behind these four walls. So you've seen through that, and now you're like, man, I can talk to him. Look, 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 I tell you what, let me call JC if I can talk to Jay. Right? It's always somebody in your life who can call you that has a real. Why do you think we're having real people with real conversations? I just spent time with y'all, so I know y'all. Right, I just spent time with y'all, so real I know y'all. Right, people having real conversations so, so, and real bathroom breaks. TLC, <laughs> I'm in my forties now. I'm in my forties now. Well, I thought y'all could see the sweat. I thought y'all could see the sweat beating up on my head, and I'm like, God, no, we still got a few minutes I on the bathroom. Until you start do it. rocking, but I think <laughs> and when I start rocking like Ron, when I start rocking like Ron, I'm like, all right, y'all better hurry up. Now we about to end it. I said, do I end the podcast or do I just take me a break? <laughs> but I appreciate. But I like what I I, I don't. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys, which is why we, the broken magnets, right, TLC? A broken magnet. A broken magnet won't work with a fully functioning magnet, right? And let's be honest. If the magnet is broken, it's not going to attach to the other magnet. It's just going to fall. And you can't repair a broken magnet. You just got to get a new one. And a lot of us are being attracted to the outside persona, which is why the next question is, tell me about yourself. What do you do? You know, what do you like to spend your time doing? Right. And, and, and now all of a sudden I bought up Bruce Chris for a reason. I bought up Bruce Chris for a reason is that I got told in sales for my networking and prospecting. Go to the same place every time, but make sure it's a white tablecloth place. Why? Prospects who go to white tablecloth places are more likely to spend money than the people who don't go to white tablecloth places. And those white tablecloth places are typically going to be your five star steakhouses, five star seafood houses. That kind of thing. That's the only reason I do the Eddie V's, the Ocean Prime, the Roos Chris, the Flemings, the Capitol Grill. Not because I enjoy spending money. My business is all about me continuing to meet people who got money they want to give me. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an American Express that want to breathe free with me. Right? And one of the things we got to start understanding, we're talking about this from a relationship, but we also got to look at this from a professional standpoint. Why can't I attract the clientele I want? And it's the same, it's the same solution. Yeah. I don't dress the part. I don't go to the right places, right? I'm out here faking and fronting, and I'm going to a place where it's requiring you be real. And the real always see through the fake and ask you why you here, right? Why are you in my environment, okay? Why are you in my environment? And I think that's the big thing. I like what Jay said, but I think what everybody got to understand is opposites attract because we got some decoys going on. We got some decoys going on. And that's why I got to see through the decoy. I got to see through the decoy. And I, and I think that one of the things we got to look at is when we're talking about broken magnets and why I can't find what I attract is that, are you fake? Right? Are you fake? Because here's the thing with fake people. I got to give fake people credit. Fake people looking to destroy the real. So the fake people know where the real people go. But the real people hate going where real people go because real people don't want to have to be owned every time they go out. And if you ever talk to a real person, sometimes they just want to go to the diviest place just so I can feel like I'm not having to work on this thing. And it ain't long. When you go to some place you ain't supposed to be, everything you want show up. <laughs> everything you want show up. They waiting on you. 
I'm just telling you, TLC, go go where you ain't supposed to be. Had the best time of your life, <laughs> right? Because they ain't supposed to be there. You have lowered your standard to be there, and man, ain't nothing like bringing somebody big time down. What you think about when you hear me say that, TLC? Uh, I mean, I agree with most of it. I don't know about people out to get you and bringing people down. I don't know about that part. Yeah. But, you know, the rest of it I agree with. Yeah, because you you trying to hit all the women in Kroger, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I go to wit. I go to wit. Chicken price the pork chop. <laughs> Rhonda, let me. Rhonda, give me a takeover. If they TLC, I'm trying to toss it to TLC. And he look, ladies, y'all, y'all forgive him, Man, he don't know what he doing. Go ahead, Rhonda, jump in there. Listen, if if you don't know yourself, or if there is a, it's like a lot of people like to say, if there's an emptiness there or a void there, um, you're gonna always end up in the wrong places. Right. Because, again, if you don't know yourself, that's you shouldn't even step out the house if you don't know yourself in a in the in the real world. Like if that's what you if that's what you're trying to do, like. Being fake probably comes with some type of pleasure that people love that is toxic. Okay, <laughs> because you can okay. because you can do and say and be, you know, be whatever. But then when the rubber meets the road, it's like, oh, OK. Like, oh, this person ain't hitting on two cents or this person's not nowhere near what they said they were or are. And so if you're going out here, you know, you're trying to fill a hole that only can be filled by whatever you're telling yourself every day. You should end up with some trash. (laughs) (laughs) Trash. Shout out to Bubba Dub. Trash. Yeah. So, yeah. (laughs) But but no, but you really being real requires you to show up being fake doesn't doesn't That's require true. you to show up so you can shoot you how about this curse you can shoot whatever with people right like you you could just say whatever be whatever do whatever because nobody's really checking checking you or saying like are you going to do what you you're gonna oh you just preach so hold on fake people going to places where they're not going to yeah, be checked of course. i like that yes. fake people are going where they're not going to be checked yeah. And, and 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 that's crazy because I think what we got to talk about, and I want to transition this thing real fast. And TLC, I want you to jump in there. One of the things you can't find what you attract is because dating apps make you fake. Dating apps, you on these apps, they teach you what to put up there to get more people to look at your profile. You can't just go up there and say, "Man, I work a nine to five. I really ain't up to nothing. I'm just trying to find somebody who won't sit on the couch mm-hmm. with." Me. You can't say that. Ain't nobody gonna swipe on that one. Right. But what is a relationship? Somebody you're going to sit on the couch with somebody you're going to eat with. Outside of that, there ain't too much else going on. Right. TLC, what do you think of the dating apps affecting what people are attracted to and, and not being able to find what they're I attracted think with to? With the dating app, no matter how honest you try to be on your profile, it's still a profile. So like until you meet the actual person, I think some people, some people see a profile and then in their mind, they create the person based off that profile, but they haven't met the person. They just have in their mind this image that they've created. Even if that person is, is as honest so as they try to be. Are you, do you they, do you run into that with the OnlyFans page uh, you see, got? I don't have. I don't even have an OnlyFans page. There you go. There you go. I do not have an OnlyFans page. It's okay. The joke I didn't tell is an OnlyFans page, guys. Y'all be prepared I when have, y'all get over there. See? There you go, false advertising. We just talking about being fake, and here I am, being real, and somebody is bringing me down. I'm, <laughs> and I see who it is on this podcast. But no, people, people, people see a profile, and then in their minds, they construct what they want that person to be, but they haven't met that person yet. So it doesn't really matter how honest or upfront a person is on the profile. You just have to keep in mind you've only seen that profile. Till you meet that person, I wouldn't I wouldn't get too wrapped up in it. Okay. What do you think, Jay, about the dating apps? Because I know in the barbershop you probably deal with a lot of people who own dating apps. Well, uh before I go on that, I'm gonna have to agree to disagree with what Jeff said, by the way. You know, because, <laughs> all of uh, it? all of it? Because I you know, uh, no no, <laughs> just, just the opposite of track thing. You know what I mean? Yes. No, absolutely, because, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, because because I because the, the reason why people can't find what they're they're attracted to is because they don't know who they are, like we said earlier. Yes, I know what yes. I and don't know what they want. I know what I want and I know what I don't want. So the thing is is that 
whenever you find and figure what that is, then you know for sure exactly because I'm a Libra. I definitely can't have another Libra in the same household as me because mm-hmm. we are too much alike. Too, we can't have two people say, hey, what do you want to eat? And we're like, oh, I don't know. And then you ask the Libra, well, what do you want to eat? Oh, I don't know. Because we're so undecisive. But when we make our minds up, then that's when we're good. But I can't have two undecisive people going down, you know, in the same household. So I guess it's to a certain extent. But to piggyback off of what you asked me, Jeff, about the apps, um, I think the apps, to a certain extent, is all fake. Because I look at I look at when I used to be on the day naps and I used to look on them, I'm like, okay, let me see what this person is really talking about. But then nine times out of ten, you see some of the females, they're always taking their pictures like this, you know. <laughs> Gotta have the right angle. I didn't yeah. tell me, Jay. I didn't gotta, tell me, Jay. Gotta you know have the right angle. <laughs> and it's like this. You know, so, yeah. so, 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 so whenever I see too many pictures like that, that means you hiding something. Yeah. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta continue to see if I see a video or if I see a whole full body shot. And then nine times out of ten, they'll bring up a body shot from five years ago. So I gotta make sure that you know. It, it, and again, if that's your stilo, it is what it is. But you know, when I meet you in person and you catfish me, then I'm gonna be mad as hell. So it's just one of those things where it's like, you know, the apps is kind of dangerous. And yes. that's why you have to make sure that whenever you do find somebody, you swipe left, swipe right, whatever the case you're gonna do, get FaceTime with them first before you meet up. You know what I mean? Sit there and be like, hey man, do you mind if we FaceTime right quick? So, you know, I can see what you what you got going on. We could talk face to face without meeting each other first. And then if we vibe FaceTime then that means obviously when we come together into a, an environment such as a restaurant or maybe a movie or a park, we we know we'll be able to vibe in that stance also. Okay. And, and, and Ron, I want you to jump in there real fast, but I want to say this guys, I'm not anti dating app, What I'm trying to let everybody know the dating app's job is to keep you dating. Yeah. Yeah. Right? That's what the dating app is, is to just keep, you ain't going to ever want to settle down if you want a dating app. And then if you do settle down with somebody on the dating app, you on a date nap because you didn't know how to get along with people. Because so now all of a sudden you off the date nap and now y'all texting each other and y'all sitting right next to each other on the couch. How that work, right? <laughs> and again, again, I ain't anti dating app, but the dating app's business is to keep you dating. And you're never going to find what you're attracted to for the most part. Some people have hit gold. But what I wanted to th- one of the things I want you guys to understand is on a dating app, it is, it is. Be careful with what you're getting into. Rhonda, jump in there. Let me know what you think. My, my thoughts on dating apps is there's who you are in real life and there, there's who you think you are on an app, right? So you could be the biggest, um, you could be the big, the biggest butthole. The, the, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yep. Bubba Dub said it about Anthony Davis, so you can say it on no, this no, podcast. No. <laughs> and so, but no, like seriously, like we always see ourselves one way, but people may see us another way. So if you're if you're the one filling out your dating profile for these dating apps, you could easily say, oh, yes, I'm personable or um, outgoing or I like to travel. And like you could put all that out there because it may make your your the pool bigger for you to pick your prospects and, and things yes. like that. So so not necessarily coming from a, a fake standpoint, but you believe in something that you ain't nowhere near to be in and you're going to put it out here on a date nap. Yes. Yeah. Can I can I ask this panel a question? Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, okay, you, okay. Yeah, moderator, okay. Moderator, okay. Moderator, Tug. Go ahead. No, sir. No, can I ask y'all a question though? Uh, like, because what what we just said, it, the dating apps is like, in my opinion, I would say it's for unsocial people, because anybody who goes to the right places, such as cigar bars or nice restaurants or Walmart or wherever, they're be, they're like social environments. They'll be able to adapt and talk to people. I feel like people who are mostly on date naps, not like for the one or the two times, but all the time, I feel that they're unsocial people and they love to Mm -hmm. hide behind the camera. Can can y'all agree or disagree? No, no, Jay, I agree. That's why I bought it with dating apps because you're, 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 there's two people who are, who are not social, not sociable. They have, they have given up. They frustrated with meeting people in person because they're socially awkward. Now they're on the dating app, and now they just go out in public and be socially awkward. Exactly. That's all that's happening, and, right? That's yeah. why I look back and go ahead, and, Ron. Go and ahead. They don't know themselves on the app either. They just kept it. They don't. Yeah, they didn't lie on the app. No, you got to remember the lies you didn't lie about. <laughs> Ain't nothing worse than when I got to remember the lies I didn't lie about. Look, that back when I was, the look, look, what you mean? Oh yeah, I got a dog. Oh yeah, I got a dog, man. We, you know, he he ran away though. I ain't, you know, we put we put signs up in the neighborhood. Nobody bought him back. 
right? Like, the, you better say something. You got to come up with ain't nothing worse than lying about the lies you didn't lie about. And one of the things I've learned about people on the dating app is they're looking for other liars because I'm socially awkward. So I'm lying to come across as social bulls. So I like what you said, Jay, but I think that I think the dating apps, you got to be careful. Now, if you're using that as a jump off, that's completely different. But if you're looking for a relationship, relationships going to require social interaction, physical interaction. It, you know, you can't you can't be on an app your entire you can't be on an app your entire life. Relationships are being ended right now because people can't get off of social media. Sure. They're so consumed with trying to get validation from others that they can't take. They're not considering the person who's sitting right next who's sitting right next to them. And it's so funny, guys. I'm 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 gonna share this real fast. Let me see if I can share this real fast because I wanted to bring that up. Right? I wanted to bring that up because I saw this today. I hope y'all can see it. Right? I hope y'all can see it. Look at that thing right there. Jeff Bezos and Lauren Sanchez engaged couple out of cons to stroll back to the super yacht. Yeah, you see you. a TLC? Yeah. Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos didn't used to look like that, did he? At all. What is she? My boy she strong. Did? My boy got my boy and got into the gym. He got shoulders. He got traps. Amazon land off everybody. But look at what he's doing. Going on. Look, 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 look. Lauren Sanchez. Look at that. Look at that rock right there. She look, look. She looking good, right? She got the size. Look at that smile. I'm just, I'm just scrolling through this thing, and I said, this man don't care what's happening with Amazon right now. Prime, <laughs> Amazon Prime don't show up in two days no Stop more. Me, look at right there. Mm-hmm. Wait, look, you didn't see that before. You didn't see that before. Amazon laying off everybody. So and look, trips. look, he can take them trips. Look at that right there. Look at that right there. You see, you see that? He, he look happy. You see that? And what I like about her? You see what I like about her? Let's go back up right there. She didn't always look like that. But guess what she told him if she want if he wanted to get with her? Man, you better get in the gym. You better get in the gym. I can't handle lame billionaire walking behind me. I got to have a physical attractive billionaire walking behind me. That's what I like, right? So what happens is, guys, look at her. Look at see, she works out. Look at that, look at that shoulder right there. They're gonna appreciate that. Look at that shoulder right there. Look, she now she work out. When she met him, when she met him, he didn't work out, right? So what is she making him do? But, she, but you don't know if she made him. Who's that to work out? Maybe, 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 oh, you know, maybe he mentally he was at a bad place in his life, stressed, so he it's just didn't care. Uh, the woman he was with, for, the woman he was with for twenty yeah. years, said, "Boy, you look good." The woman, but everybody he, the woman he, in a whole other room. Wait there. But every, wait but there. every, I, I was, I, we was having this conversation in the barbershop. Remember, Jeff? Like everybody yeah. who breaks up with somebody end up. Trying to be the best version of themselves after the mm-hmm. breakup, they get they get they swole on <laughs> and they getting built right. But then as soon as they get back in the relationship, guess what happens? <laughs> Fall off. Absolutely, absolutely, man, <laughs> absolutely. I had to show that to y'all, man. I'm looking. I'm like Jeff Bezos and got ripped back when I was coming up. If you wanted to find chick, you needed to have some game, right? That's how you got to find girl. You had to have game. It wasn't about the physical because now I'm just going to the gym so I don't go crazy. That's the only reason you go to the gym now. I'm going to the gym. Stop this diabetes from flaring up, right? Right? Like, it's like at this, you ain't going to the gym to get a girl. You going to the gym because man, I need to work out. I need to get healthy. This man went from being Jeff Bezos to now this dude is trying to turn into a sex symbol. Why? Because he wanted somebody in his 20 plus years of marriage. He lived a boring life that nobody ever saw him. He was Jeff Bezos. Amazon never had a face. Well, he was Jeff Bezos. Go ahead, TLC. Oh no, you're fine. I, I was just gonna say everybody will mind a sugar daddy that don't want no sugar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a new, that's a new rap. TLC, I hate to come, I hate to come behind that one. Maybe the magnetism at first was there with his first wife. They were married for twenty years, but maybe maybe she was the one dragging him down. Maybe now, maybe now she's no, 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 no. He's TLC. looking at life TLC. different. Like things are no, opening up for TLC. him. TLC, TLC. No, TLC, let me tell you this. There's who you build with, and then there's who's there when you have built. Okay? And that's a different person, though. I'm just telling you. There's who you build with. This is why you got to get somebody who knows that one five-year and 10-year plan. So when it comes to 10 years, you already know. You already She ain't leaving. What did, what did Kanye say? And when you get on, <laughs> he leave your ass for a white girl, right? Because you were trying to cater to him when he was at his words, he was at the bottom. No, you need to cater to the end goal, not to where he is, because guess what? The wife didn't been divorced. The wife got divorced again. This is what Jeff Bezos wanted. 
Jeff Bezos, nobody starts a multi-billion dollar company to say, you know what, man, let's just keep it conservative. You know, they got a 500 foot yacht. They had to tear down the bridge to get it out the shipyard. And guess what? She experiencing all of that because she's a woman that's made for men after they get to a certain level. She's not a woman that's made for you to build with. Jay, what you think when you hear me say that? Yeah, because I, I, obviously, I guess the relationship must have got boring. That means that, like you said, the things that she did in the beginning, she stopped doing towards, you know, his his his, his up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Every time somebody's low, they everybody in a relationship likes something that's new. I mean, let's be real. They want to continue that, that new type of uh, relationship. So if you get into a marriage or a relationship and then two years down the road, everything that you did to reel me in, like I mentioned in the previous podcast, and then you choose to go ahead and change up, then obviously I'm going to want to look another way to find that that feeling again. Kind of like kind of like an example with, um, I don't know if y'all seen when they had the House of Representatives, but uh, I think it was Sleepy Joe's wife was over there kissing on um, <laughs> the first lady's husband. First you know, lady's husband. husband. The hey, VP's said, husband, what, yeah. What, what, the Feezy? Yes. I said, what's going on here, Sleepy Joe? You ain't kissing your wife? Look, look at that, though. Look at that. Y'all can, can see the screen. I had to pull it up. Now, that's Jeff Bezos. X Y, right? This Jeff Bezos X Y. Let's click on that, right? That's what she's she cute. got, right? She's there. cute. She cute, she's right? Cute. Now look, now look at her. She work out. I can tell by the shoulders, Jay. Yep. She work out. But now she left Jeff Bezos. She left Jeff Bezos to go to this guy, oh, right? Wow. Look at that smile. Look at that smile, right? Mm -hmm. Now that's how I used to look back in the day. That's how what I used to look do? back in the day. But I had game. I had game, TLC. You remember meeting me in '94, TLC? Then I used to look game, like this, but I was a little darker. <laughs> I was having that had game in a '76 Cutlass, right? I had him so smiling like on. that too. Did, did this man is a, a, a Seattle school teacher? What? No yeah, this was a school on? teacher, and she's already divorced him. She already divorced him. He was because like, guess what? A school teacher cannot come into that life. We had yeah. talked about that. You are if you're a school teacher making thirty, forty thousand dollars a year, and she's just gotten her husband's settlement from the divorce, and she's running a foundation where a bunch of rich people give out money. How is he going to fit in her life? We talked about this, right? Right? So now all of a sudden, guys, let, let, look, look, I had to bring that up. Now, let, let's just remind everybody what Jeff Bezos, let's see, Jeff Bezos, ain't, Jeff Bezos said, okay, you want to go out there and get that lane, right? <laughs> Jeff Bezos said, you want to go out there and get that lane, right? Let me go out here. I'm going to just bring it up again. Look at that right there now. She work out, right? But look at him now, right? He, he. He, look, he enjoying that picture, holding hands, all that kind of stuff. Because somebody is there based on him getting the $500 million yacht, guys. Right? This is why you can't find what you, that's why you can't find what you attract. You can't find what you attracted to because you're operating in the now instead of operating in the down the road. Go ahead, Ronnie, yeah, jump like, in I there. will say this. Um, like, when you, when you talk with most uh, females where their spouses have left them, they they do feel like they've been jilted or whatever because they did stay through the through the the hard times or the times that they were growing. So you should, but yeah, Kanye said it best, right? He'll, he'll leave you, right? But he got that ambition, so baby. They, Look in his they eyes. Won't, they won't let that stuff go because they'll 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 hoard like they'll hold that over you so many times. What they've done for you, who wants to stay around that and nag all the time? Who wants to be? A and and Rhonda, that's that's the point I'm trying to make. A lot of y'all are looking for the person. Y'all are trying. Y'all y'all are looking for the person where you at now, right? Jeff Bezos couldn't have guessed. Jeff Bezos couldn't have guessed that Amazon was gonna blow up. Like he started off selling yeah. books, so you didn't have to go to the library. And this chick was there when Amazon became the powerhouse. And y'all better start getting with people who understand that you got a powerhouse vision, yeah. right? This is this is what we're looking at right now. So guess what? The wife got the settlement. She got. Lauren Sanchez got the vision. And a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all want the settlement. People getting married just to get divorced. People getting in relationships just to lock somebody down with a child. All these scheming activities that's happening. This chick, Amazon is closing warehouses and laying people off left and right. This chick is on the yacht with him. Right? Because guess what? Now when that call come in, hey, Jeff, man, we didn't meet our financial targets. You know what she's saying to him? Fire him. You know what he doing? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> he's just like, look, girl, what else, what else you want? Right? TLC, like, TLC, she like, running the company. Like, lay down, let me do you right. <laughs> yeah, right? Hop on my table, right? Know what she's saying, right? Lay down, let me do you right? 
But yeah. But guess what, guys? Now she's there helping him be transactional. Anything that stresses him out, guess what she's telling him? Leave. Cut him. Get rid of him. The first wife was like, no, we can fix it. It's a family. She's still operating like they're selling library books. You see what I'm saying, TLC? That's what I want you guys to see about why I can't find what I'm attracted to. You're stuck in your now, and you're not taking advantage of what the vision you have in you. Now, if you don't have no vision in you, stick with it now. Yeah. Stick with it now, right? And at the, at the end of the day, I tell y'all, it's somebody you can go out to eat with and somebody you can watch a movie with. Jay posted something on his story the other night, movie time, right? You don't go there. You don't go to the movies with everybody. You don't go to eat with everybody. The two things you do, who am I going to sit on the couch with to watch a movie or sit next to to watch a movie? And who am I going to eat with based on where I'm going, not where I'm at? Rhonda, give me your final thought. Jay, I'm going to take your final thought. And TLC, since you came up with the topic that I just took apart again, appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate all my fans. TLC, you're going to finish it up, man. And, 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 and I'm going to get my final thought. TLC, I'm going to let you get a final thought tonight since you came up with the topic. Jump in there, Rhonda, let us know what your final uh, thoughts my are. My final thoughts is just me summing up your points because I thought you brought up some good. I'm talking. Oh, I appreciate that, um, A1 from day one. Go uh, ahead. You need some... <laughs> I, I ain't want to F around and find out based on your shirt. <laughs> no. Get yourself in the right places. Know yourself. And stop being fake. But I know you can't do the last one, so just do the other two the best you can. <laughs> Jake, jump in there and let us know what your final thought is. My final thought is know what you want. Know who you are as a person. Get yourself in the right environment and in the right circle of friends and don't find you yes man. Make sure that your circle of friends is going to actually make sure to know that, hey, that person is just not for you and and um and keep it pushing because you don't want to be like one of my exes where I had the vision <laughs> And I went ahead and excelled. She only thought I was going to stay here. And I ended up taking my Xbox and my Jordans. And it was, you know, once the Xbox and the Jordans wow. leave, it's, it's gone. Out. Yeah, it's yeah. gone. Once the Xbox and the J's is gone, it's, that means you're gone, boy. So make sure you don't be like that person. Follow your vision. Know what you want in your heart. And then keep it pushing. Man, y'all know my final thought. My final thought is simple, man. Go to the right places. Know you. And, 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 and make sure you know where you're going to be one year, five year, ten year and start looking for that. TLC, what's your My final thought? My biggest takeaway from the night was uh, the point that uh, was made as far as not looking for the now, looking for the future, and uh, look for a person that can fill that role for what you're looking for in the future. That was a great point for the night. Man, appreciate it. Y'all know it. It's the Smoke Something, Drink Something podcast. Rhonda, man, look, tell them where they can find you on the socials. RMB, LMBT, on IG. Big Jim, tell them. B, Big J, tell them where they can find you on the socials. Oh, yeah. Y'all know. Big homie. Big J the Barber on Instagram, YouTube. TLC, where can they find you well, at Instagram on the socials? At Clay number one and at Patreon at the joke I didn't tell. Man, and y'all know I'm the real cigar Jeff. You can find me on Instagram at the real cigar Jeff. You can find me on Facebook at Smoke Something, Drink Something Podcast. Y'all head on over there to my Get the Bag series on Patreon. Link in the description, man. Link in the bio. Y'all know all that stuff. Do me a favor. Y'all share this video, man. We on our way to 100,000 followers. Like I told y'all, man, we walk by faith and not by sight on this podcast. And I'm telling y'all right now, until next time, we gonna holler. Uh, 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 yeah, TLC, yeah. I got you gonna get to stay on because you jam into the outro. Live and direct. Yes. You, you know what it is. Yes. Like and subscribe to. Uh-huh. 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 Uh-huh.